Let's look at Acts the 14th chapter. Acts the 14th chapter. Um, let's read together. Let's read together verses um, 1 through 14, and then I'll finish the rest of it. And this is just, this is really just um, Paul and the book of Acts is about, the book of Acts is about the early church, but here's, here's what the book of Acts is also about. Over half the chapters, about half the chapters, have healing stories, but the healing stories that happen in the book of Acts are different because all of the healing stories in the book of Acts, God is not working through Jesus as Lord and Savior as we see Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When we get to the book of Acts, God is working through everyday people just like us. In the book of Acts, there are all of these, there are all of these. If you go, if you go to the, um, the third chapter, um, we see that um, everything that uh, Peter and John asked them to arise. And we see, these, we see these miracles that take place throughout the book of Acts, including a resurrection of somebody who dies. And God is working through people. God is working, and, and so that's what I wanted to focus on because we can always look at, you know, Jesus in Luke the 17th chapter, and he heals the lepers, and, you know, he does that. But in the book of Acts, he's working through people just like us just like us. Let's read together. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went as usual into the Jewish synagogue. There they spoke so effectively that a great number of Jews and Greeks believed. But the Jews who refused to believe stirred up the other Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So Paul and Barnabas spent considerable time there speaking boldly to the Lord who confirmed the message of his grace by enabling them to perform signs and wonders. The people of the city were divided. Some sided with the Jews, others with the apostles. There was a plot afoot among both Gentiles and Jews together with their leaders to mistreat them and stone them. But they found out about it and fled to Niconium, cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding country where they continued to preach the gospel. In Lystra, there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had faith to be healed, and called out, stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Lyconium language, the gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and wreaths to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of this, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human, like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. So just listen to the rest of it. In the past, he, God, let uh, nations go their way, yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around them, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derby. They preached the gospel in that city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them. Um, in, in each church and praying and with praying and, fa praying and fasting committed them to the Lord in whom they had put their trust. After going to Sidia, 
they came to Pamphylia, and when they had preached, uh, they had con when, and when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From Italia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them and how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles. And they stayed there a long time with the disciples.